people be looking at the houses and shit and be like, oh, this is suburbs. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, yeah. this look nice. Why y'all out here? Why y'all thugging? Why y'all doing all this? Why is it? Why y'all act like that? Y'all from California. Y'all niggas got luxury paradise. It's not like that when you live here. When you gotta live here, you adapt to these circumstances. Just because the houses look good, we don't own them houses. You know what I'm saying? We just live around them. Only the strongest survive, man. It's a crazy ass city out here, San Diego, six one nine, man. You know, it ain't what everybody think it is. It's, it's lit out here, you know what I mean? Like I said, we in East Lego right now. We got the southeast, we got the north side, you know what I mean? We got Oklahoma City. I mean, it's lit out here, man. You know, it ain't all sunshine and palm trees, you feel me? I'll let that be known, because you know, when, when motherfuckers from out of, out, of, out of San Diego, here in San Diego, they think all oh, is beaches and shit, but you know, we barely see the beach around here. Black, you see, the apartment, the apartments and shit, uh, uh, motherfucking parks and shit, that's where we be at. We don't be at the beach, so, you feel me? There's some, there's some street shit going on around this motherfucker, and, and uh, you know, south of the A. South of the 94, you feel me? Southeast to the valley, all the way to Linda Vista, East Dago, you feel me? It's, 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 it gets real, you feel me? I done grew up, I done grew up off of Market Street in the hood, you know what I mean? Like, like it's, it's bad over there, you know what I mean? Where I grew up at, like, for real, like, shit you probably see on movies and shit. You see smokers on every corner and shit. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, it's really like, where I, that's where I grew up at. But out here, though, in the valley, though, too, you feel me? It's, it's all love, you feel me? It's all love everywhere, but... Shit get greasy though. Man, North County, man, it's lovely, man. We got got a couple little places up here. From Esco to Oceanside, all the little cities in between, you feel me? Like, yeah. I don't know, it's pretty nice out this way though, you feel me? It's pretty nice out here, man. But out here, Esco is like, you feel me? It's tensions with the little it ain't bad or nothing, I ain't, you feel me? I be maneuvering, I'm on my grown man shit getting money, so yeah, yeah. I ain't really been had time to get into no dumb shit. The streets, man, the streets, right now it's pretty cool because like, the 90s, niggas was like tripping on some gangbang type shit. It was like turned all the way up. 2000 hits, it like calmed it down a little bit. Then like the police and the fed, they started doing all these gang injections and locking motherfuckers up, so. The streets right now is kind of mellow. It's, it's cool, you know what I mean? You can go certain places and do certain shit that you couldn't do in the 90s, you know what I mean? You can wear certain colors in different places. Like, in the 90s, you couldn't wear certain colors in different places. You might get banged on, shot at, beat up, something gonna happen. But now, it's like, it's mellow. The streets is cool, you know what I mean? Niggas can function, niggas can get money. I ain't gotta worry about that stupid shit. A lot of shit changed because gang banging and shit kinda slowed down. You know what I'm saying? Like shit slowed down and niggas start breaking off and doing their own shit. You got little circles of niggas that fuck around more than they fuck with their whole hood. So, you know, that started fucking shit up too because niggas started having to choose sides between which homies I'ma deal with because these homies over here fuck with them niggas that I don't fuck with and then these homies over here. I fuck with, but I don't want to stop fucking. It's a lot. It's always some politics, you know, all kind of shit. For me, so a lot of shit they can be fixed in the city. They need to start with the niggas that got names, reputable the niggas that, can, that that always that niggas get called upon when it's sticky outside. They're the niggas that sitting back letting dumb shit happen. The streets getting a little bad right now. You know what I mean? Cause niggas not niggas don't got respect. Nigga, you know what I mean? It's just whatever. It's getting bad now more than it was back then, you feel me? Okay. Niggas, you, know I mean? you could be from the same same area, same hood, you know what I mean? Be fucking with somebody and shit, you know what I mean? But that's where that Dago shit come in at where motherfuckers just need to come as one because everybody, that's how niggas grew up, you know what I mean? You don't even know a nigga and it's just funk though over nothing, you feel me? But this music, this music, this music is what's gonna bring everybody together, bring people together, real shit. I don't really know about lack of respect because if you a real nigga, you're gonna get respect. And that's what I learned, you feel me? Like, everywhere I go, niggas, I, I don't be on no goofy shit, nigga. So mm -hmm. don't approach me on no goofy shit, you feel me? Niggas don't come at me on no goofy shit. Because, nigga, I don't go out, I don't step out playing around, I'm not playing with shit, nigga. I'm just a cool nigga, though, but don't, don't fuck with me, though, or none of my niggas, you feel me? And we straight. I'm trying to have a good time and run this bag up, you feel me? Man, what I hate about the city, man, I'm gonna tell you something, man. It's like, it's over, it's over, uh, we call that shit, over, uh, over police, yeah, that's probably the word, it's over police.
and that's what's fucking the city up. A lot of gentrification going on, like especially uh, down there towards downtown, like in the coast and in Logan and shit. They got a lot of, uh, they building little nice little condos and shit and pushing motherfuckers out. That's why a, a lot of the niggas from the hood gotta live in Oklahoma City, gotta live in Spring Valley, gotta live in uh, motherfucking uh, lakes, even all the way out there on Lakeside, you feel me? Like a lot of the homies gotta move up out the hood because all the rent is going up because all these other motherfuckers coming in there, they building little nice restaurants and uh, condos and shit. So motherfuckers gotta leave where they grew up their whole life, where their mama grew up, all the shit. So they got a whole lot of gentrification going on. It's over police. It's like, it's too many cops out here. Like, for real, like, that's what I hate. I mean, police keep motherfuckers safe and all that. It's supposed to be, but like, nigga, when you got over police type shit, it fucks the city up because they looking for this nigga, they taking that nigga to jail. They need to like, you know, do something about that shit. And it's not that much crime in Dago no more. So it's like, I don't understand this shit, really. It's not like motherfuckers out here getting robbed every night and shot every night and beat the fuck up. You know what I mean, calm that shit down. Like, it's too many police and military motherfuckers out here for all that shit, man. Dago's really a safe city. They just over-policing this shit, locking the wrong niggas up. A whole lot of uh, police oppression going on, you feel me? Yeah, I heard that, uh, dude. That's just how it goes out here. You know, they got a lot of systematic things in place that, that, that hold motherfuckers down, whether it's, whether it's gentrification, like I said, whether it's cow gangs with the police coming in documenting motherfuckers so motherfuckers can't even be at their grandma house because it's in their hood. Motherfuckers can't wear a certain color, you feel me? So they trying they try their hardest to, to, to put motherfuckers down. They got all these indictments. They indicted motherfuckers off of music, you feel me? Uh, I, I know like over the past like probably like 10, 15 years I've seen like eight indictments on, 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 on homies gangs, you feel me? Motherfuckers getting indicted, sent to the feds, getting getting the football numbers, you feel me? And, and it's all a systematic thing with, with the police and with the uh, with the politicians and all that shit. And uh, you know, they trying to push us up out of here, either put us in prisons or move us all the way eastward to get us out the city because they trying to make their money and they feel like we threatening it, you feel me? When you when you catch when you when you go on parole or probation, there's stipulations that they put on you when they try to label you a gang member. They try to label you a gang member and they say that you can't be around people from this gang or whatever the case may be or whatever they got to say about us and shit. But you know, by law we ain't supposed to be around each other. But you know, we still make shit happen through wire. Like we do features with each other and don't even be in the same studio. You know what I'm we, we really just be, hey bro, I got some shit, email it to me. Email it, bam, I blast it right back. And say it's a rap. You know what I mean? So, and I be having to argue with my, like, like, like people and shit about that. Like, they be like, oh, you shouldn't even do songs with them. I'm like, nigga, if I'm not physically in the booth with this nigga, how can I get violated? You know, we, we entertainers. We do this shit for music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. We do this shit for music. We do this shit for the, for, for the message. We do this shit for the, for the love we get. Nigga. shit man about the city that I love is man I love it here because this is me you feel me all this shit out here is a reflection of me I done moved out of Dago I done stayed all, all around uh, I done stayed up north I done stayed in AZ I done been to I done been to Cleveland I done been to motherfucking Vegas I done been everywhere you feel me Louisiana Florida but I can't ever be away from here too long because it's just me you feel me I got a San Diego state of mind you feel me I feel comfortable where I'm at right now and, and, and this is where I'm from where my home is you feel me so that's why I love about the town I'm comfortable here not that I'm super comfortable, but you know what I mean? It's, it's where I've been my whole life, so, uh, yeah, that's one thing I love about the city. And the taco shops, for sure. Taco yeah, shops go hard out here. When you leave San Diego, there ain't no taco shops like that, so. What I really love about the city, it's mixed. You got every race in Diego. You got Chinese, Somalian, Africans, Russians, um, Middle Easterns, Mexicans, Every, it's every race, literally, in San Diego. That's what I love about it. It's mixed. It's not like a gang of niggas, a gang of white people, a gang of Mexican. This shit is like mixed up. This is, this, that's one thing that's beautiful and I love about Diego. It's hella mixed up. You know, San Diego right now got a cool little music scene. It's starting to wiggle. It's starting to move a little more. It's starting to get more open. Niggas is more open to doing features because, you know, it's kind of a little politics, a lot of segregation with niggas that not, don't want to do music with certain niggas, but niggas just realizing that even if you don't really fuck with this cat, why, why wouldn't you want to go fuck with us on some music shit? If he got a following and you got a following, y'all come together, y'all both got a new following now. You feel me? Y'all you, trading fans. You feel me? So one thing that I learned is to never be biased about nothing you're doing. 
feel that. There's no, there's no need for bias in this shit. If you're trying to succeed, what the fuck you being biased for? Get out the way. You slowing shit down. Uh, San Diego, the music scene, cool. We got some cool artists, you feel me? Uh, it's, it's, it's good music out here, but it's not a lot of good push. You know, they go ain't on the map when it comes to this music shit. And uh, we just gonna have to figure it out, how we gonna get out there on a, on a, on a, uh, on a uh, international level, on a national level, because, you know, San Diego is like the forgotten city on the West Coast. You know, you got rappers out the Bay, you got your rappers from LA, but, you know, San Diego kind of low key. Most of the rappers that's, on, that's out there from Diego is just gangbanging rappers, rapping on gang shit, you feel me? So it's, it's other shit besides gangbanging and Diego that, that goes on out here. So motherfuckers need to get, get woke up and get enlightened on that shit, you feel me? The history of rap in San Diego, you know what I mean? Um, it, it goes back quite a ways. Um, one, I, I'm always gonna give it the credit as far as like the people that I look to as far as building a, a buzz for the name of San Diego back in the days is a lot of the original, you know what I mean, hitters, the, you know, the Big Junes, um, you know, Black Mikey is, is, is certainly one of them, Damu is certainly one of them, um, you know, uh, they, they've always had a, you know, presence, Mitchie is, is now one of them, J.O., uh, Steve, uh, Steve Vicious, um, Cricket, you know what I mean? Quite a few of them. They've they've been around for a while, and a lot of those guys are responsible for the for the music scene in Dago. Um, the DJ Fingers, the DJ Jams, you know, those are some of the original uh, folks that that uh, helped develop that um, here. As far as like being a, a artist and and being underground and making a name for yourself and putting, like I said, putting the, putting the city on the map, you know what I mean? You got Rob Stone, Rob Stone blew up. He go out of town, sell out shows, come out to Dago, can't even get a show. It's like the city ain't pushing who they supposed to be pushing, you know what I mean? Then you got like Mitchie Slick. Mitchie Slick been doing this shit the last 20 years. He been on around town and shit, but it's like, Musically, you know what I mean? That's like the only artist really that really made him blew up. Rob Stone, Mitchie Slick, and J.O. Felony. You know what I'm talking about? The next up is like who's next up. You know what I mean? Big Rob Stone made it big. He went double platinum and shit off the Chill Bill song, but that's just one song, you feel me? And you know, uh Mitchie Slick done made it out there, J.O. Felony done made it out there, but it's just that's just three artists, you feel me? Opposed to like you look at cities like LA, they got the gang, Ty Dollar Sign, YG. Dr. J, Kendrick, all these other rappers, you know, out here we only got three rappers that sort of made it big, you know what I mean? They not out there uh, on, on TV every day, you feel me? But they, they done been out there, but it's just not an everyday thing, and that's what we need. We need everyday uh, uh, motherfucking attention, you feel me? It's a lot of shit missing, you know what I'm saying? The only niggas out here teaching is, uh, I know, sound good. what, Rick Ross, Nip, Nipsey Hussle, uh, there's a couple other niggas, but locally, Another nigga out here that that, that spit knowledge and shit and real got real uh, power behind his music is Lil Gino from Skyline. And my little cousin, my little cousin A-Rax, he from East Dago, man. He, he be going crazy. Them, them the only two niggas that I know that really be out here spitting the real message. And they don't care because it's their personal life the trials and tribulations that they're talking about. But if you really if you listen to music to learn, you're going to always pull something from them verses, pull something from them bars, you know what I'm saying? My boys, we, we get out too. My niggas got struggle in their music too, but a lot of my niggas, we make this turn up music, you know what I'm saying? It's turn up, you know, trap music and shit, you know, they go trap music, that's how it go. See, that's the thing right now with the town, it's kind of it's kind of uh, pushing right now. It's a dago push going on, you feel me? Finally, for once, there's a lot of unity when it comes to this music shit because a lot of the shit that used to hold motherfuckers back is, oh, he from over there, so I can't fuck with him. He from over there, so I can't fuck with him. You feel me? He done fuck my bitch, so I can't fuck with him. But it's, it's starting to, everything's starting to get together. Even if niggas don't get along, they at least making songs together. Niggas from different hoods making songs with each other. Good thing, you feel me? It's all unity. There's a lot of unity going on right now. So hopefully, every, all the bullshit can get put to the side, and, and, and we can just push one movement, one dago, one city. You feel me? And get on the map.